When you look at who to vote for and how it relates to the rights of conscience, you have to understand that what our Declaration of Independence says, our founding document, it sets forth five principles of government. And anyone who goes into government is to support those five principles. And the first principle there it says that there is a moral law. It was called the laws of nature and nature's God. Between the Bible and nature, we know what right and wrong is. We can tell. God tells us clearly, don't steal and don't kill and don't purge. That's a moral law. So we start with a moral law that comes from God. And the second thing says, oh, by the way, there is a God. So we acknowledge that there is a creator. The third thing the Declaration tells us is that God gives us a certain set of inalienable rights like life and like liberty and the right of self-defense and the right for association and free speech. Those are God-given rights. The fourth thing that the Declaration says is government exists primarily to protect God-given rights. And the fifth thing is that below that, you get to vote on everything else. So you don't get to vote on morals. You don't get to vote on what your rights are. God gives those to you, but you can vote on how wide the sidewalk should be or what the speed limit should be, et cetera. That, that's fine. Now, when it comes to electing someone, if you elect someone that says, I don't believe you should have rights of conscience. I don't, I don't think that you should be able to choose what weddings you want to be part of. I don't think you should be able to choose whether your health care does not cover abortion. We don't think you should do that. That's a real problem because now you're violating what the purpose of government is. And the purpose of government is to make sure I have the right to practice my God-given beliefs. And one of those is the rights of conscience. And if you've got an official saying, well, I don't believe you have a right of conscience, that's a person you don't want near government because they will also take away your other rights as well.